Hey everyone, Emily with Bob's Watches. Today we're uncovering the truth behind some popular Rolex myths so that you can separate fact from fiction when it comes to the world's most famous luxury watch manufacturer. Also, if you haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can stay up to date on our latest video content. Rolex is easily the most famous watch brand in the world, but this means that there can often be a lot of myths and general misinformation about this legendary company. Myth 1. Rolex watches don't tick. You will frequently hear this said in the context of trying to spot a fake Rolex, but it is false and busting this myth is a two-part process. The tick being referred to here is what you will find with a watch that is powered by a standard analog quartz movement. The seconds hand moves once per second, and when it does, it makes an audible ticking sound. Rolex did previously make quartz-powered watches, and we will get to that in a second. So this myth is busted right there, but it is also incorrect on an additional level. Even mechanical watches tick. They just do so at a much faster pace. While the seconds hand on a modern Rolex appears to glide around the dial, it is actually ticking at a rate of 28,800 beats per hour. This works out to eight ticks per second, which is enough to give it a smooth sweeping appearance. Myth two, Rolex never made quartz watches. Like we said earlier, Rolex actually did make quartz watches, but they have all been discontinued and are no longer in production. Between the late 1970s and early 2000s, Rolex sold special versions of its Datejust and Datedate models that were powered by in-house quartz movements. Officially known as Rolex Oyster Quartz watches, these models were not all that popular with buyers while they were in production, and it is estimated that only about 25,000 examples were produced during the 25 years that they remained part of Rolex's catalog. Myth 3. Rolex has American roots. Everyone knows that Rolex watches are made in Switzerland, but the Rolex brand itself actually has nothing to do with the United States at all. Rolex was originally founded in London, England, before relocating to Geneva, Switzerland in 1919. Furthermore, Rolex's founder, Hans Wilsdorf, was German, a Bavarian to be precise, and even from the very earliest days of the company, the brand's watches have always been Swiss made. Myth 4. The only gold Rolex ever used is 18 karat gold. Today, it is true that the only gold that Rolex uses is 18 karat, but this has certainly not always been the case. If you look at a number of vintage Rolex watches, you will find models that are crafted from 14 karat gold, such as the reference 15037, Rolex date, along with older models that feature 9 karat gold. Additionally, you will even encounter some gold capped watches that feature a steel construction with a thick layer of gold applied to their top surfaces. Myth 5. Rolex does not make complicated watches. While it is true that Rolex built much of its reputation by producing simple, durable, and reliable wristwatches, the myth that it doesn't make complicated watches is just flat out false, especially in more recent years. If we are being really technical, a complication is any function on a watch other than telling the time. Therefore, day and date displays, second time zones, chronographs, and moon phases are all different types of complications, and all of these can be found on Rolex watches. Additionally, Rolex may not make any perpetual calendars or minute repeaters, but both the Skydweller and Yachtmaster 2 have incredibly complex movements. The Rolex Skydweller features both an annual calendar complication and GMT functionality, while the Rolex Yachtmaster 2 features a programmable countdown timer with both flyback and fly forward capabilities. Myth 6. Rolex invented the automatic watch. Rolex is credited with inventing a lot of things, but the automatic watch is not one of them. Self-winding movements have existed since the early 1770s, and the first automatic wristwatch with a centrally mounted winding system is actually credited to John Harwood, who developed the mechanism in 1924. However, Rolex did take that initial design for the self-winding movement and made it infinitely better, establishing the system that forms the basis of all modern automatic winding movements, in which the oscillating weight rotates a full 360 degrees. Myth 7. Rolex casebacks never have any markings. While it is true that most Rolex watches do not have any caseback markings, this is certainly not true for all models. Both the current production Milgauss and Deep Sea have casebacks that contain engravings along their periphery, and you will also find caseback engravings on older Sea Dweller and Lady Datejust watches. So the myth that Rolex casebacks never have any markings is just straight up false. 
Myth 8. Rolex has always made its own movements. Today, every single watch in Rolex's catalog is powered by an in-house movement, but this certainly was not always the case. When Rolex was first founded, the brand relied exclusively on outsourced movements, and even after striking an exclusive deal with movement manufacturer Egler in the 1930s, Rolex still used outsourced movements in some of its watches, most notably the Rolex Daytona. The Rolex Daytona was the last of the brand's models to feature an outsourced movement, one from Zenith, and it strangely did not receive an in-house caliber until relatively recently in 2000. Since this point, all Rolex watches have featured in-house movements, but for the first 95 years of the brand's history, it was receiving movements from a third-party source. There's a ton of misinformation out there about Rolex, and because the brand famously almost never makes an official statement to set the record straight, some of that incorrect information gets perpetuated and turns into myths that pass from one collector to the next. However, the truth is definitely out there, and following knowledgeable, reputable sources is the best possible way of separating fact from fiction when it comes to the world's most famous watch manufacturer. Thanks for watching our video on the truth behind some popular Rolex myths. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can stay up to date on all of our latest video content.